Uh, well, it goes to the final day. Um, you know, we've still got it in our hands. Of course we do. Uh, the problem today, the players just looked so fatigued. Uh, it's not an excuse. It's an observation. Um, we really need to give like 600,000% in that last game. Uh, you know, just give every little last scrap of energy because, you know, Europa League, we've got a rest game uh, against Lask, 5-0 uh, up. You know, we're not going to go out there so you know we can play the the secondary squad in that one to give a little bit longer rest for the um for the rest of the squad and then we can actually hopefully enjoy that competition because we'll already be secured for champions league uh we are currently third of course liverpool play chelsea later uh if they do win then we remain third but we need to avoid defeat to um make sure that we are going to get in that champions league spot against leicester uh we still could finish third Chelsea play Wolves after that as well, so they don't have an easy run in. And, you know, considering we play Leicester, you know, for Lampard, uh, he's kind of got um, a, a cushion, sort of. And, uh, yeah, he can prioritise the, the FA Cup final and the the uh, Champions League for them. So, you know, th there's a chance of rotation for Chelsea, that sort of thing. I don't know. Obviously, I'm clutching at straws. Ultimately, as long as we do our job, we're fine. It's just whether we can. Uh, we are unbeaten since the project restart, um, oh, bar the FA Cup, but in the league we are. It's now 13 games unbeaten. But yeah, it, it, it was just a, a flat display, really. Um, it was a silly uh, penalty to give away. Uh, of course, Pogba would have got smacked in the face. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say whether he was right, whether he was wrong. You know, it's very divisive. Uh, it was just ugh, such a annoying penalty to concede right before half time and Antonio slots it in um, De Gea did make a couple of decent saves he was picked uh, that was the big talking point at the start of the game would he be dropped uh, for Romero personally I think he should have been but he didn't make any mistakes in this one so you know he can't point the fingers at all uh, he, he didn't have too much to do to be honest West Ham didn't show too much going forward neither did we uh, we had little spells and little uh, pieces of play if you like but yeah I <sighs> I feel like, particularly against this sort of opponent, uh, I know Gary Le uh, Gary Neville talked about it in the second half, but yeah, I think Pogba should be played a little bit further forward alongside Fernandes. Instead of being as deep as he is, he didn't really need to be that deep with only Mark Noble and Antonio there. You know, I don't know. It, it, it probably would have provided us with a little bit more because, I mean, Fernandes has to uh, carry the the large proportion of it on his shoulders he played a, uh, a couple of lovely through balls early on we had two shots on target within the first three minutes martial forced a good save out of adrian and then uh, greenwood forced a well it was a simple save from um from adrian but yeah uh, bruno fernandez did play them uh, through but throughout the game you know his passing was slightly off this game uh you know it was certainly an off performance from fernandez which is fine i mean he's He's hit the ground running, and if you're criticising him for you know a half display, then that's just ridiculous. He's played practically well, he has played every single game, including the the cup and everything. So yeah, we just need to make sure that there's no BS against Leicester, and you know we we go there all guns blazing, and we show what we're really about. Because yeah, a couple of flat performances have really changed the uh, the mood around Manchester United from severe optimism to unrivaled pessimism really um and i hate it i really hate it this can all change if we get in the champions league everyone's going to be buzzing no one's going to remember the fa cup and we're going to be buzzing for the europa league which again we don't want to be playing that to get champions league qualification fuck that because the pressure no no i don't want to watch every game on end of course the europa league i want to win but i want to enjoy it i don't want to you know if we do go out the europa league it's not the be all and the end all as long as we've got champions league of course it's a trophy it's a trophy i really want to win we won it in 2016 uh so yeah i want to win that again of course uh but yeah we need to make sure we get champions league and the goal we scored, I never actually went through it, but it was really, really nice interchanges from Martial uh, into Greenwood and, you know, it's just a phenomenal finish really inside the box uh, to make it 1-1. But yeah, I think another little problem that we have is we're trying to be too intricate all of the time. Like, it's lovely the way we play sometimes, you know, the 1-2 passing, the, the quick movement off the ball, etc. But sometimes it's so cluttered in central areas and then when we do eventually pass it out wide... 
the uh, the players are back. You know, there's a back line of uh, six to eight defenders and midfielders just clustered around the box so it's hard to get a cross in or beat the man or that sort of thing so then we pass it back we try again then we go to the other side and it's just yeah it's not great um i think wan Bissaka was good when he came on though obviously he was on the bench i think ollie wanted to rest him for the full thing but foster mensa got a clumsy yellow card so i think that was wise because if we went down to 10 men you know like we did against southampton through an injury we could have conceded late on and you know that would have been even worse and we'd have been fifth needing a win as it stands we're third up until chelsea play later of course needing to not lose against leicester um it's just going to be it's all to play for really all to play for i am looking forward to sunday of course i'm not gonna lie there's a bit of me that is nervous but you know what i've been saying since when did we come back? Was it May? Was it June? I can't remember. But whenever uh, we came back and we were eight points behind Leicester, I've been saying we'll finish third. And I'm going to stick with that. We are going to finish third. So let's absolutely smash Leicester on the final day.